Oh, there's the old one. Yeah. Got the new one, test it out. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. No, no chill, but... Okay. We um, just got back from TR. Got the alignment on the EP3 with the whole new hub spindle. And everything works great, actually. As you can see, on the last one, that the, the previous one that we had got made, it was off a little bit. The reason why it, this part here, instead of sitting dead in the center, it was actually one inch back. Like, um, it's great for drag racing and stuff like that, but that's not how we wanted it. You want to look and stuff and then exactly. you, do you, do, so. you could do, yeah. Um, so we got everything pretty much all dialed in the way that we want it. So now we could go into um, mass production of with the so we're going to be taking pre-order sales with this, but I'm going to go ahead and jack this up and show you guys. Yeah, this one has a camera kit on it. Or it's lives. not ours, but we're actually going to be offering a camera kit for this also. Okay, cool. So, nice. so here it is. So on this side here, what we did was we had um, one of these uh, camera kit that we put on this side. But the other side, we left the factory just to see what the difference is and all that. Is. Yeah. Um, you can see back here, the hubs, everything's on. Everything is pretty much straight on. Um, everything lines up perfectly. See that this is the OEM brakes. Everything's right OEM. Yeah. Yep, OEM. And then this bracket here, for this, is actually a, a, a mounting thing. We actually cut from the old one, and then we mounted up to here. So I get it. And this is for the ABS right here. But since there's no um, ring and stuff like uh, here, so the ABS won't really be working. There's no ring here, inside here. This is actually the factory um, EP3 trailing arms. Everything, the only thing that we did was we made this hub, this hub assembly right here with our hubs. So we did a couple of bits. Re revise vision because different angles and all that um the last one that we did was this this right here instead of sitting right right dead in the middle like this one is it was sitting an inch back so we had to move it an inch forward and then we brought it out just a hair so it would clear everything would clear and all that um it's, it's like a, it's like a third one right to get it right yes third exactly one. third yes but we've yes. been um working on just making sure everything Perfect. Fits properly. And, yep. Yeah, that's a lot because this whole piece is built up, guys. So, you know, making three sets of these things wasn't cheap. Yeah. So, actually, we made more than three sets because we had made one just to see what it, how it would look and then got some dimension and changed himself around. And some of it was off and stuff like that. So, we had to just keep making it till we got right. Same thing with putting the, uh, the, uh, the caliper and all that. We had to make sure that. Um, it works with it and all that, so there was no issue with the um, the brake lines, uh, with the e-brake cable lines and all that. So we got it to work finally. So this is the one that we just took off today, and we placed it with the new revised yeah. one because this was like I was saying, it was off a little bit here. Which uh, it was off. It was. It needs to be more this way. Okay. Um, so right now we push it. So pushing it this way would actually push it forward. Because this thing sits, if you're looking at it here, this thing actually sits like this. So it was actually, we had to push it forward because it was pushed back too pushed much. Back, okay. Yeah. And then we, we didn't know um, on the first earlier version was this actually used this, the, uh, the 19 millimeter bolts. Um, and we used a smaller, we thought it was a little small, you know, like the typical, the uh, M10. Mm -hmm the 14 but it wasn't so we had to change that make this thing bigger and then um, to use the right bearing and all that that's what took so long okay. was making sure everything worked for this for this chassis um, there was a couple things that um, we were unaware of you know like this is a set the M14 which is a 17 millimeter this is the 19 so it was like we had to 
Trial and error. Yeah. Because yeah. they're like different chassis, different different things. So, but like, uh, so finally got it. So finally got it, guys, and everything is bolted up. So right nice. now we just have a stubby in there. Yeah, this is stubby right there. Stubby. Okay, there's no need to do the whole thing right now, um, because uh, if this thing rides with the stubby, it's the same thing. It's just gonna be an axle through it, you know. Yeah. So really, if you really want to just get this for now, and then get the uh, diff mount later, you can just start doing that. And doing then that right. Eventually, like the yeah. This will be the first buy, and then after that, you yeah, can get exactly. Your diff, diff mount, mount, and then you can put the diff, the axle. But you don't have to even put that in. Put the diff mount up and all that, and then get yourself the transmission and mm -hmm. the subframe. Put that up. You can still drive the car around um, with the all-wheel drive tranny. And then maybe one weekend get the dry shaft and then put you know install the diff and then install the axle and you're ready to go basically yep. you know you can do it in steps so we're gonna keep we're gonna be driving this car testing it out more and more um, but very nice piece guys everything, yeah, everything. fully billet so yeah it's gonna be available soon for pre-order so. yeah we are we're gonna sometime this week um since all the dimension works out exactly how we want it so this is pretty we could probably even take some make it a little bit lighter but i think we're gonna leave it like this yeah, that, yeah. um but just some more design on it okay cool just to make it look like nice you know yeah, this is even like down here even like the ebra cable we had to loop it all the way down here so it fits really nice down here so coming down here and coming up here and i've been i see and then, like I said, the e-brake cable, I mean, the, yeah, the, uh, the brake lines, that's all held in, you know, so. So it should be on the, uh, it should be ready for uh, pre-order. This sweet guys, so these things are 100% oh, oh, billet. Oh, also, okay. we have our own um, camera kit also, so I would advise you, if you get this, get our camera kit also, also. yeah okay. so everything because we had everything like i said before um, in the beginning um this side had the camera kit that we got from somebody and then on the other side it's factory we want to see what it how much it was off and this is when we got it line. this is before this is the back you know camber to the rear and then the toe the toe is off here and then we adjusted it and all that so you can see it's pretty good mm -hmm. but this is the one that we don't have a camera kit on so it's off just a hair not much so a camera kit would definitely help out yeah definitely yeah all right cool so, all right guys you hear it get ready these things is coming up for pre-order this week